of shame. You know, they, they, they're not just embarrassed by their parents' behaviour sometimes, but they feel somehow responsible for it. Yeah. And, um, and that actually is a childlike coping mechanism. I, 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 I went through that same kind of thing. I always used to think to myself, I, I try... I, I, but I tried to learn, I tried to blame it on the booze, you know, I tried to say that's the darkness thing, that's the whole thing, that's like the heroin addict, you're an alcoholic, you know, and there's nothing, but then I sometimes would be annoyed and I'd think, well, why didn't my old man, if he loved me enough, why didn't he stop drinking, was I not worth it, or stuff like that, you know, and that always got to me, because I always thought, Jesus, isn't my fault, am I driving my dad to drink, but my mom, luckily enough, was there to reassure me, no, it's the alcohol, the alcohol takes over like a demon, and it turned, I mean, as much as a great person that he was, and a big part for me doing this is, to let people know that I'm talking more about the issue, not just about my personal thing, because I'm not beating my own drum, but I was somebody that went through this thing, who had a father that was an alcoholic that was never there for me, and, and it affects me in the long run. I know I have some deep, dark issues now because of not having my dad around, and always thinking, why doesn't he love me? And then I'd, I would come from the U.S. to the U.K., and people would say, oh, no, he's been talking about you coming for ages, he can't wait to see you, and then I would show up, and he'd go on a bender, and he'd go on a serious bender, and, if, and then some bad things would happen, and I'd think, oh, Jesus, what, did I just drive him to drink even harder? So that's why I was curious if that's what uh, the kids...